Avtron HS35M installation. The Avtron model HS35M is a magnetic hollow shaft incremental encoder. The HS35M employs a hollow shaft and clamping collar to lock the encoder to the shaft. The HS35M can be installed either as an end of shaft model or as a through shaft model. This video demonstrates end of shaft installation. For all installations, ensure that the mounting shaft is at least 1 and 3 eighths, approximately 30 millimeters long. Installation hardware listed in the manual and shown here is required for installation. A high performance resin housing provides electrical isolation from motor shaft currents. An optional hollow shaft sleeve insert permits 1 inch models to fit a broad range of shaft sizes from 1 half inch to 1 inch or 20 millimeter to 12 millimeter. An anti-rotation bracket prevents rotation of the encoder while allowing for shaft end float and axial movement. The HS35N may be mounted on fan-cooled, non-vent, and blower-cooled style motors. Installation on a fan cover is shown in this video. To begin the installation, prepare the HS35M. Loosen both clamping collar screws. Note, HS35M clamping collar screws have factory applied thread locker. No further thread locker application is required. Remove the factory installed shaft plug if one is provided. Install the anti-rotation bracket to the face of the encoder using the included screws and lock washers. Do not use thread locker. Use the dial indicator gauge to ensure motor shaft runout, TIR, does not exceed two thousandths of an inch, 0 .05 millimeters. Use a caliper gauge to verify motor shaft is proper diameter. Clean motor shaft of any dirt and remove any burrs. For HS35M units without a sizing insert, apply anti-seize to the motor shaft. Anti-seize is not needed if the encoder has a shaft insert. Insert the T-bolt for the tether arm into the fan grill. Snap the plastic washer pair together in the mounting slot of the anti-rotation arm. Slide the HS35M gently onto the motor shaft. Do not force the encoder in place. The HS35M should slide on easily. If the encoder does not fit easily, remove it Verify shaft size and check for burrs and shaft damage. Tighten the screws on the HS35M clamping collar evenly until snug, then tighten each screw to 35 to 50 inch pounds. Do not use a standard right angle hex wrench for final tightening. Use only a T handle hex wrench or torque wrench with hex bit. Secure the free end of the HS35M anti-rotation bracket to the frame using the T-bolt, washers, lock washers, and nut provided. Use additional washers as needed to install the bracket without a large deflection or bend. Turn shaft by hand and verify that the shaft turns freely and does not produce excessive runout or wobble of the encoder. If the recommended protective basket is to be installed, Use either T-bolts for fan cover mounting or bolt to the C-face. In this video we will demonstrate installation on a fan cover. First prepare the basket for the HS35M connector by snapping out the sections as shown in the manual. Install the T-bolts in preparation for basket installation. Pivot the basket over the encoder. Do not force the basket over the HS35M. The basket should fit 
evenly and smoothly and not contact the HS35M or the HS35M anti-rotation arm. Thread the bolts through the basket mounting holes and use the supplied washers and nuts to secure the basket. HS35M installation is now complete. The body of the hollow shaft HS35M should not wobble excessively when the shaft is turning. For the HS35M, the body should show no more than five thousandths run out as measured from the outer perimeter of the body. See the manual for instructions on correcting excessive run out. The HS35M is now installed properly and ready to output signals to your PLC or drive. If an oscilloscope is used to test the encoder, the signal should look roughly as shown here without large variations in the signal. The signals shown here were taken at steady speed. The HS35M is now installed and should provide years of trouble-free service.